Hey guys, gonna check the external and internal rotation of the shoulder in this video here. So just kind of reach behind your head here, see how much external rotation you have, see if that hurts at all, see if you have any pain or limitation in movement. Check both sides, of course. And then for the internal rotation, we wanna reach behind ourselves here. Now notice the difference in yourself. I notice the difference in myself where I can't go in much internal rotation on the right shoulder here. So that's just kind of a good way to self assess the shoulder range of motion at the glenohumeral joint. Now, for daily range of motion mobility exercises, we wanna do our daily cars. Now remember, our cars are controlled articular rotation, so we're trying to control and move just one joint at a time while keeping tension everywhere else in the body, which is known as the principle of irradiation. So I'm gonna keep myself nice and stiff. I can dig my, my toes into the floor here. I can keep tension in my quads, my hamstrings, and my glutes, and I'm going to raise my hand up as high as I can in the flexion here, not so much extension of the spine. Remember, this should only come from the shoulder. Now, once I can't go any further into flexion, I'm going to internally rotate my hand, and as I internally rotate my hand, make sure you're not sliding your torso back to compensate for the range of motion you don't have here. So I'm gonna keep reaching back, keep reaching back, and as I get into as much shoulder extension as I have, I'm gonna then bring my hand by my side. Now, you can also uh, just start over here or you can just reverse the motion, go into as much extension as you have, external rotation of the shoulder as much as you can, maximally, and go back forward. And like I said, and you see a little shoulder hike there, so I've got some limitation there. Try to just move from this joint here, and you'll find that if you have pain and limitation in one side, it's a really good idea to check the other side as well. Notice I don't have as much flex over here but I still need to do my daily shoulder circles, my daily joint cars. Remember, these are to be done about three to five reps, both sides, uh, and there's a joint circle or a joint car for every part of the body. So in the next video, we'll show you how to get some of that external and internal rotation back of the shoulder.